Hello, I'm Jennifer, and today we're reading The Three Little Pigs from Ladybird Favorite Stories Treasury, retold by Mandy Archer and illustrated by Virginia Allen. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs who were ready to seek their fortunes. Each little pig packed what he thought he might need, then set off to build a house to live in. The first little pig built his house out of straw. My golden fences will be the talk of the town, he bragged. The second little pig built his house out of sticks. My timber roof looks very fine, he boasted. The third little pig built his house out of bricks. It took a long time to finish it. My brick walls are solid and strong, he said. One day, a big bad wolf stopped outside the house of straw. A sly snarl crept over his face when he saw who was living inside. The wolf walked up the path, then rang the bell politely. Little pig, little pig, let me come in, he said. The little pig cowered behind his front door. No, no, he replied, not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. The wolf licked his chops and rang the bell again. The little pig heard the doorbell jingle a second time. The wolf peered in through the window. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, he threatened. The little pig trembled with fear, but he knew that he could never let the wolf come inside. The wolf gave a menacing roar. Then he huffed and he puffed and he blew the house in. Help! cried the first little pig as his straw house tumbled to the ground. The frightened pig picked himself up and dashed to find shelter at the second little pig's house. The first little pig had just arrived when the wolf turned up at the house of sticks. Little, little pig, pig, little pig, let me come in, said the wolf. The second little pig slid the bolt across his front door. No, no, he answered, not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. The wolf pushed hard against the little pig's stick walls. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, he warned. The two little pigs still wouldn't open the door. The wolf growled in anger. Then he huffed and he puffed and he blew the house in. Help, squealed the second little pig as his stick house fell to pieces around him. The second pair of pigs ran to hide at the third little pig's house. The third little pig let his brothers in, then slammed the front door shut. Let me come in. Little pig, little pig, let me come in, urged the wolf. No, no, retorted the third little pig, not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. Little the wolf pig, glared through the third pig. little pig's windows. He paced up and down outside, his tail swishing with irritation. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, he vowed. The first two little pigs hid underneath the rug in fright. Instead of joining them, the third little pig sat in his favorite armchair reading the newspaper. He didn't seem the least bit scared. The big bad wolf got ready to knock down the house of bricks. The wolf let out a deafening howl. Then he huffed and he puffed and he huffed and he puffed. But as hard as he tried, he could not blow the house in. I'll get you little pigs, roared the wolf, even if I have to climb down the chimney. The third little pig didn't tremble with fear. Instead, he put a cooking pot full of water on the fire to boil. The wolf squeezed himself into the brick chimney. Downstairs in the sitting room, the little pig and his brothers waited. By now, the cooking pot was bubbling nicely in the fireplace. When the wolf came down the chimney, the third little pig lifted the lid off his cooking pot. The big bad wolf landed with a splash. The clever little pig danced with his brothers. The wolf would never bother them again. I hope you enjoyed that story of the three little pigs. We'll see you for more story time soon. If you loved the three little pigs, why not subscribe to the Toddler Fun Learning and Ladybird channels 
for lots more amazing videos.